Hi there, it's Jessica. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about meal planning for beginners or meal planning 101. Now everybody's situation will be a little different, but my hopes is that by talking about my personal process that you may find a system that works for you. There are a few different ways to approach meal planning, but it's all basically the same idea, so I hope that this video gives you some tips on how to start your own meal planning system. Now, before I started meal planning, what I would do is I'd go to the grocery store and I would just fill up the cart with a bunch of random foods that I thought that we would eat. Once I got home, I was always stumped on what to make for dinner. I'd be scrambling around my kitchen trying to put ingredients together for a meal, and usually we would not have what we needed to put a meal together, so we would end up going out to eat, or I would run back to the store many times a week, which ended up being very costly and wasteful. What I wanted was to have many options of meals for my family that they loved. So that's where I came to meal planning. The very first thing that I needed to do was assess our schedule. What was going on during our week, from work hours to school to any extra activities. So definitely go look at your calendar and get a feel for what kind of meals you may need to plan for and for how many. Now this may change season to season, but just go ahead and jump right in, get started at your current week, and it'll become a lot easier as you become seasoned yourself. Next, you'll want to come up with some meal ideas so that you could start the meal planning process. Now, when I first started, I honestly only had maybe a handful of things that I knew how to cook. So what I did was I went to the family members in my household that were going to be sharing these meals with me, and I asked them what were some of their favorite foods, what would they maybe like to have for dinner. And I wrote it down, so you could do that easily on a scratch piece of paper, or I do have a printable here, which I will link the website down below in the description box of where I got this. And I wrote down some of their ideas for meals. And this came very handy, and it's something that I have filled out and I'm holding on to still to this day to reference on. Also, another thing that's very helpful is going to Pinterest. Create a board with a bunch of food ideas that you would like to try, different recipes. I would also say to keep it very simple on yourself. Only try maybe one new recipe a week so it doesn't become overwhelming. And there's definitely going to be hit and misses with some of those new recipes that you try. If it's a hit, then go ahead and add it to your family favorite list and it will become a part of your normal rotation. Now another thing, of course, easy is any recipe books you have on hand. Go ahead and just flip through to get meal ideas. So now you're ready to meal plan. One supply I think you should probably get is a very simple, cheap little notepad that you could stick to your fridge. And on this list pad, what I do throughout the week as I'm working in my kitchen is I start to jot down things that I'm going to need to pick up that we're running low on. Staples to even things like cleaners and household goods. So this is the first thing I go to when I get ready to meal plan. I will grab off that list of everything that I'm going to need to add to pick up from the grocery store. And I actually flip it over. And then the next step is to take inventory. So I will go to my pantry, my fridge, and my freezer. Sorry for my handwriting. <laughs> but basically what I'm doing in these areas is I'm seeing what I already have on hand that I could put into meals. For instance, maybe in the pantry I notice I have a whole box of spaghetti noodles. So I'm going to write that down. And then maybe in the fridge I have a whole carton of eggs. So I want to make a note of that. And maybe in the freezer I have a whole full frozen beef. Now you're ready to grab something to actually plan with. A notebook works fine for meal planning. Just some lined pieces of paper. You could use a planner or some planning inserts. 
You could also create documents by using Word documents on your computer and just make up a meal calendar or a weekly calendar. These are actually free printables from the same place I got the family favorites list, so they will be linked down below in the description box for you. If you have a laminator, you may want to laminate these so you don't have to keep printing them every week and use maybe a dry erase or a wet erase marker and reuse this over and over again. And it's going to be up to you on how many weeks you want to plan for. I personally like to plan for two weeks at a time because I go off of our paycheck. We get paid bi-monthly, so I like to plan for two weeks worth of meals at a time. So I'm going to show you an example of how I kind of meal plan. So I'm going to have my inventory list off to the side to help me. And knowing my family's personal schedule, I know that I need to plan for about seven to eight meals to last us two weeks. And how that works is I like to think of one day as a day that we will definitely go and eat out. I like to have one night a leftovers night. Now what I'm going to do is plan out the rest of my meals. Now I like to use this one worksheet to get two weeks worth of meal ideas down. So all I have to do is just number my meals and create two columns out of this. So at this point I want to look at what I already have available and I want to kind of put those ingredients into use. It'll definitely save me money to use what I have on hand. So for an example, I could definitely do a spaghetti night. So I'm going to go ahead and write spaghetti on one of the meals. And off to this side I'm just going to note that I already have noodles. So I do not have to add that to my grocery list. So we have eggs and breakfast for dinner is one of our family's favorites so I'll add that to one night. And then we also have beef and one thing else I like to do is have a leftovers night. Sometimes I will cook a really large meal that will create leftovers by using a slow crock pot meal or make a really extra large casserole. So what I want to do is maybe one of those crock pot meals with the beef that I already have. So I'll put a uh, crock pot stew down. Another thing that I really like to do is kind of do basic, easy things that I know we always love. For Tuesday, I usually make that tacos. So I'm going to put two days of tacos down, but you can do different variations of them. Like maybe one could be a soft taco with some chicken. And the other one, let's make it crunchy with beef. Also, usually Friday night will be like a pizza night. So I'll put two pizzas down because those are tried true favorites. Maybe one pizza will just be a simple frozen. And the other one, maybe we'll, we'll do it handmade at home. Another meal that I kind of do as an easy, quick meal is kind of the free-for-all where you just kind of help yourself to whatever is available in the fridge to use or in the pantry to make sandwiches, soups, finish up whatever's in there for leftovers. 
So now I only have two more meals I need to figure out. So that's easy. I'll just pick a couple that I know of. And I'll also have a lasagna. And I'll make it a large one so that we could have leftovers. Now that you have all the number of meals that you're going to need, it's time to do the grocery list. So for the grocery list, I actually like to use the back of whatever sheet I'm using to meal plan. And I like to write down different sections, like break down the grocery store into sections, such as produce, dairy, pantry and cans, grains and pastas, meats, breads, frozen, beverages, and household. That way it just makes it really easy when you take your grocery list in because you'll have all your items listed out already in those sections. Also down here I make little notes for breakfast, lunch, and snacks. Now for my family I have a husband who works all day long and a kid who's in full-time school all day so I don't really need to have an abundance of all of those kind of foods but I definitely want to make sure I have some on hand. So down here in the breakfast area I will list some items. An example, cereal, lunch, maybe I want to make sure to have sandwich, things to make some sandwiches, snack, maybe some pretzels, chips, some cookies as a treat. Then what I want to do is make sure that I kind of flip back over to here and make sure I get every ingredient for every single meal I planned. So I'm going to go one by one so that I don't mess up. And I'm going to look at spaghetti. And I know I do not need to write down noodles. We already have that at home. So I'm going to flip over here and I'm going to think everything I need for spaghetti. So in grains and pastas, that's usually where you could find the pasta sauce. So I'm going to write down I need sauce. And I'm just going to make a running list in that area. Maybe I want to add some meat to my sauce. So let's pick up in the meat section some hamburger. And then, you know, maybe I've decided I want to have a side with my spaghetti. So I'm going to make a note here. And let's do a salad. Just a small little salad for our side. So then I'm also going to list, maybe we need to pick up some lettuce and some tomatoes and go ahead and keep going for each and every one and make sure you get down all of its ingredients have your recipes nearby if you need to kind of copy off of exactly what you need um, also don't forget that list that you keep hanging up on your fridge with those items that you are running out of or just ran out of so you want to add that to your list as well and then one of my biggest tips guys is to just literally trust your list and stick to it when you go to the store I take this whole thing with me and I just pick up the meals just pick up everything you've listed now I will have to admit this whole process does take some time. I do have to plan to meal plan. It takes me anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, sometimes even more, just depends. But in the long run, it saves me time. Every night at dinner, this is so worth it to me. We save money because we're buying what we eat. Now I want to go off topic just a little bit, actually not off topic, but I just want to mention a tip that you could do before you are actually, you know, meal planning. Another thing that you could do for ideas on meals is go to the store you shop at, it's ad. Now if you get the Sunday paper, you might already have the ad to flip through or go online and look at their ad and see kind of maybe what's available that week that's on sale that you could make a meal out of. So looks like ham is a decent deal. So maybe ham dinner is something that you want to pick up. Another thing, if you get the Sunday paper, it comes with little booklets of coupons. You could also print off coupons off the internet as well. And I, I really like to try to save a few extra bucks by looking through the coupons and seeing if I could create some meals out of what they 
are giving you discounts on. For instance, here we have a dollar off these cans of beans. So maybe I'm going to do a slow cooking chili night and I'll clip out that coupon and take it with me and my list to the store. But that's, you know, that's if you want to. That's just a suggestion. It is something that I do that takes me a little bit of extra time, but definitely helps out my budget. Another thing that I do is I save all of these lists. So what I like to do is put the week of, and after I've taken it to the store, and I've just gone through and checked next to everything, I hold on to these. I do not throw them away. And that's really helpful for weeks that I just don't have enough time to do a full meal planning session or I'm just like in a rut. I cannot think what to put down. I have gone through and almost identically copied old meal plans. So once you do this for a while, you start to get a little nice stack of these and meal planning becomes very easy. So once you've gotten your food and your home, I would take this opportunity to do some prep work, rinse off all of your fresh veggies, be organized in your pantry and cupboards, put everything in a spot, everything should have a spot, clean out your fridge, get rid of all the old food, and also freeze and label your meats. I would also recommend just investing in some decent Tupperware. If you can't afford really good Tupperware. Just get some containers like these that you can reuse or that are disposable so that you can store leftovers neatly. It makes it easy to reheat meals or even have a significant other or yourself take leftovers to their work. So definitely get some kind of Tupperware. Another thing that I like to do is I have this dry erase board on my fridge. It's much loved, as you might be able to tell. Now, when I get home, I like to list all of those meals that I just picked up, kind of like a menu. I'm not that much of a stickler on which day the meal should land on. It works really well for some people to put certain meals on Monday and they stick to it Tuesday and they stick to it. Me, I'm flexible life happens. I like to definitely use my meals that have fresher ingredients at the beginning of the week. I like to save my easy meals for days where something kind of just pops up that I wasn't prepared for or I'm just just not feeling like cooking. And then those bigger meals are for those days that I have the extra time to prepare. And then um, I also like to have my family involved so they could see everything that's available and sometimes I'd just like to ask my husband what he's feeling and let him pick off the list. So that's something you could consider. This was I think just a three dollar little dry erase board from the Target dollar spot but they do sell it pretty much anywhere. A little dry erase board. If you're menu planning for just yourself or maybe you have kids at home that are going to rely on you or another member of your family that's going to rely on you for all three meals of the day, go ahead and plan for breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. It's just the same process. Meal planning is a very enjoyable process for me because of the benefits. We do enjoy coming home and sitting down to a meal together at the table. It just feels good to know that I have a plan. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. I hope you'll want to come back to see me soon, so definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I want to wish you the best of luck in your meal planning process. And until next time, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye, friends.